Senator Lindsey Graham is here. All right, Senator, I mean, rough day uh, in the market and yeah. rough day overseas in the Middle East. Uh, what's happening here? Yeah. Well, the worst is yet to come, unfortunately. Well, uh, they're reaping what they've sown for the last four years on the inflation side, supply and demand, Kamala. If you restrict American oil and gas drilling offshore and onshore, you do away with the Keystone Pipeline, you produce less oil and gas, you're going to have higher prices. When you overregulate the economy, it's hard to create jobs. When you flood the economy from Washington with money uh, that doesn't create jobs, you create inflation. So what's happening in the Mideast is when we withdrew from Afghanistan, it sent every jihadist, radical Islamic terrorist on steroids. Then we gave the Ayatollah $80 billion of money and oil by relieving sanctions. So those two things have led to an empowered Iran who is wreaking havoc on the Mideast. At home, the broken border and inflation and spending policies have come home to roost. In August of last year, Schumer said the Inflation Reduction Act would show up and help us all this summer. Well, it didn't. So I worry about our friends in Israel tonight. To my friends in Israel tonight, if you get attacked by Hezbollah and Iran at the same time, make sure you hit Iran and hit them hard. So right now, Americans are stretched financially. They can't afford back-to-school supplies. 50% of parents just can't do it. Right. Can Kamala explain what's happening? People are looking at their 401ks <laughs> like they just lost uh, a lot. Can she explain exactly what's going on at a level that makes people feel comfortable that she knows what she's talking about? Well, we'll never know until somebody asks her a question, will we? No. So what we've heard is just gibberish. You know, when she tried to explain inflation and why we may, we may be on the verge of a recession, she has no idea what she is talking about. But she was the last person in the room before President Biden decided to withdraw all of our forces from Afghanistan. She encouraged that decision. She should not ever be in a room again making an important decision. She opposed pre-invasion sanctions on Russia to deter the invasion Russia against Ukraine. Uh, she sat on the sidelines while some nut job called Israel genocidal country and said nothing back. She is the border czar. More people have been poisoned by fentanyl on her watch uh, than is the leading cause of death in America from 18 to 35 year old young people. Uh, enough fentanyl come across our border on her watch to kill everybody in the world. She doesn't know what the hell she's doing. She doesn't, and she's going to have to, one of these days, Senator, answer for it. <laughs> In my we're, lifetime. We're waiting. In my lifetime, we're, sti I hope, yeah. we're still waiting. Thank you so much.